Hi, um, this is going to be a craft room organization video, but this is going to be the first because I'm going to have two. My craft room is separated into two parts and I did the whole thing yesterday and then realized, you know, I wasn't near as detailed as I should have been and it was going so fast and then it ended up being so long that nobody would want to sit down and watch it. And then I thought, well, if you're a sewer, why do you want to see the craft room? If you're a crafter, why do you want to see the sewing room? So I'm going to do it into two parts, okay? But I'm going to show you that you can make it in a small space, okay? Because even though the room is kind of big, my sewing is in a small space and my crafting is in kind of a small space. So you have to utilize what you have. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, so I'm just going to show you from my phone because I can't get the pictures any other way but this that took me with it I'm just that's all I'm gonna say um, but anyway I loved my pegboard I will say but you know that's that's different now this was a mess okay just a mess oh that's my beautiful daughter sorry I thought I had more pictures but anyways let me show you now what I got so first of all this is my sewing space don't look at my chair it's only half done i screwed it up trying to redo it but you know life is life so let me show you what i got going on okay okay first of all this is my singer 401 i got back in here and this is a cabinet for it um i utilize every space i can so my room has window sills so this is kind of decorated, but it also houses, it, it stores, this is my um, clips. This is just cute, but it is a pin cushion if you want to use it. This can right here holds my zippers, okay? My zippers are in this can. I want to redo the can. It's ugly, but it holds my zippers. And then down here is pattern storage. And on top, I use carts a lot because they hold a lot and you can tuck them. I tucked it right under there where I don't need to be. I only need to be here. So that's patterns in there. And then on the top, I have my, you know, my pin thing that I made to store your pins. I have this case and this is two, good God, I hooked my sweater. This is two, <laughs> of the organizers from Dollar Tree that are in the, uh, you know, where you get your shower stuff and all that, I think is where they are, makeup organizers. And I took two glue dots and just glued them together to make one storage unit. This unit right here is where I put my thread when I'm sewing. I just throw my thread in there and then I clean it out as needed. And it sits right there. And then I have extra pins and stuff like that back here stored in tins and pin cushions. And then in this drawer, I have all of the stuff for this machine. Okay. I got bobbins on a bobbin, um, magnetic bobbin holder. And I'm pretty sure I have that in my Amazon store. And then I got other bobbins in this, um, and then in this drawer, I have odds and ends and sewing machine oil and supplies like that and so on and so, so forth down my drawers. <laughs> um, so that's, that's how this is all organized over here, okay? I'm going to walk with you. I hope you do not get sick, but um, I have a little sewing mat under here. Um, I had that in my craft space, but I had to move. And then there's one machine. And then I have all my rulers hung on little um, peg hooks. And then I have an extra light back there if I need it. My duster because I do everything in this room and I have to dust quite often. You have to excuse my projects down there. And then there's my other sewing machine. Then I have my serger. And then a little cup from the Dollar Tree to hold the scissors and snips and all that. And y'all, this desk come from Amazon and I absolutely love it. I've had it up and down and up and down, but I think it's up to stay for, for at least a little while. 
but I have it linked in my Amazon store and I absolutely love it. It's, it's, you know, it's short and narrow so that I, I, it don't take up a lot of room, but yet it's, it holds a lot. You see what I'm saying? It holds a lot. Down here, I have my serger threads in one of those totes. I do wish they all matched, but I bought them at different times and it is what it is. I use what I have. And as you notice, my floor still ain't down because we're having an issue with that still. So, you know, that is what it is. And then in that second one, I have stored um, odds and ends, uh, scrap zipper or button pieces and, and things like that. And, you know, I don't even know what's in there. And then on the bottom one is the faux leather that I bought from Hobby Lobby and everywhere else. And... I store that in there. That right there is my one rolly chair that I use just go back and forth along this V when I'm sewing, okay? And a lot of times when I'm sewing, people ask why you have so many machines. Well, a serger, you know, you serge with it. That one is for crafting, but I can put a different color on this one and a different color on this one or a different foot. And if I'm sewing um, straight stitch, have it on one machine, ruffles on another one or gathering, and I can interchange them without having to change feet all the time. That's the purpose of having several machines for me. Plus, I'm just a hoarder and I like machines, okay? I have roller blade wheels on my chairs. They glide easier and it's easier to pick the string out if, if it gets dropped. Um, I have a set of those that are good and they're linked in my Amazon store. I have my f uh, presser feet on silicone, what are they, pot holder things. Um, I bought those at the Dollar Tree, but you can also put them on the floor mat stuff. Hold on, I'll show you what that looks like. It is that right there. It's for carpets and rugs. It works better than the other gripper. If I sounded funny, I was bent over. <laughs> struggle, struggle. Okay, in this one right here, I have um, my presser feet and needles and all that for this machine. Um, odds and ends stuff down there for embroidery and then all of my sewing manuals and stuff down there. Um, I keep all of my sewing manuals in case I have to refer back to something, especially on my vintage. Down there are my turners that I made. And then when you go up here, you know, I'm going to buy some stuff that goes under your desk. But for right now, I have this here. But this is just a caddy for your sewing machine that holds your, you know, what you need most. Okay. So there is my Black Beauty that I love so, so much. Um, this is my favorite machine. I did not pay what they want for it now. I got it when it first came out on sale at Walmart, and I've had it for years, and I love it. Some people don't like it, but, but I do. Uh, this is a magnetic tray. I have them linked, I think, in my Amazon store, but you can get it at Harbor Freight as well. And I use that for when I'm doing clips. I just throw my clips in there, and then I'll transport them over there to put in the other thing. I love, love, love pegboards, okay? Um, I screwed the pegboard up on the wall and then you can just attach whatever you want to the pegboard. I had all my thread on peg hooks, but you see how they're tilted down on the peg hooks and they're harder to get off. These tilt them up so I can see my colors better. I have these linked in my Amazon store. Um, they hold several several things of thread and I just have them hooked up here on the little I don't know whatever them things are hangers on peg hooks but this holds all my thread and then I have peg hooks in here to hold my bobbin rounds I absolutely love these things I travel with them and I don't have no problems with my bobbins if you turn them to where your strings are down when you pop them in your strings won't pop out. Love them. Very, very handy. And then there's my tweezers for my serger. Up here, I have stuck a shelf from just a board that I had. I just recently got all these containers for my buttons, and I love it. 
I got them to match these. And these are just containers from the Dollar Tree, okay? Um, that glass jar up there, whoo, we got blurry. That one is my bias tape. Then I have rickrack. I have scrap elastic, scrap um, lace, and then that is all my elastic. And then those are decorative buttons and different jars. And then I have my jars up there. Got my boom box. I have to have, this is my, this is my uh, therapy, my relief. And then I know I've showed this before, but I absolutely love it. In case you haven't seen it, there is my, my uh, Black Beauty sewing machine. I named her Black Beauty. That's, I named my machines. I'm crazy. And then my big scissors. But it's identical. You see? I absolutely love it. I designed that and put it on my wall. That's why I try to keep her next to her, her little thing over there. Okay, another window sill, and I have my curtains closed because that light is so, so bright. Um, that is a container I made to hold broken needles, broken pins, um, rotary blades, and then I'll just shut it and throw it away and do a new one. It'll take me forever to fill that up anyway. Uh, there is a little thing that I made to put sleeves when I do sleeves to iron the sleeves. My retro iron is up there I have this with water in it my 40 inch ruler I absolutely love I got from Harbor Freight um there's my lint roller I use command hooks a lot okay and I'll explain what this is in a minute and then I have a portable ironing board down there and then my trash you don't need to see I have a spray bottle for sewing and then this is just, you have to overlook this. I'm, I'm doing stuff. And that's my curtain ties. But anyways, now, oh, let me show you one other thing. I made this thread rack, okay? But I had an old serger and I took it apart. And then I fandangled this to get it together. You can buy these. I have them linked in my Amazon store. This one actually came from Tamu, Timu, Tamu, blah, blah, whatever you call it. And it's not the best, but it will work. I keep this by my embroidery machine. So just wanted to show you that. Okay, y'all, don't judge too harshly, okay? I'm a pack rat, but I told you, organized chaos. I've said that before. It's part of my organized chaos, okay? Um... So let me explain. I'll explain this table and how it's made um, in a minute. But on this table, I have my ironing board surface, oversized ironing board. And I have a video on how I done that, okay? Sorry if I'm shaky. I wobble like crazy. This is fabric that I have left. I got rid of a ton, okay? And I have this rolled on comic book boards. These are on fat quarters. I just cut the comic book boards down and rolled them like I use totes a lot because you can tuck them. I love these flat totes. That one's long. It goes all the way across. But this holds my um, Wonder Under and fusible webbing and stuff like that. And that is my stuffing pillows. I stuff my pillows under there. That holds stuff for my embroidery machine, which I need to move. This is quilt batting and cotton battings and stuff like that. And then I have fat quarters stuffed in that one. They are just in a row. It's actually very nice. And then just scrap fabric when I need a scrap piece. I have extra scissors stored in this bin. There are my ruler weights. There's my paper and it's also tucked in the outside. But it's uh, tracing paper, my freezer paper, parchment paper, wax paper, you know, whatever I need for pattern making and things like that. This bin I got from Walmart. I do believe it was $12.99. And on top of it, oh, I'm using my phone, <laughs> is my wool mat. Good Lord, I can't do this. And then in it is all the stuff that I, I use. And I just got it sorted out through all my all my drawers right there 
Again, command hooks are awesome. Um, I'm not fond of the Dollar Tree hooks because they do tend to fall off. These are working so far. When they fall off, I'll replace them with commands. Hopefully, it won't mess up my scissor points. But my all of my rotary, my scissors that I use, and my rulers are hung there. Then I have my big cutting mat right here and all of my clips and pins and all that stuff up there. On the other side is where I do my crafting. It's another mat, but I had to adjust this right here. But anyways, that's a different video. So this is my, my table. This table is two nine um, bin units from Walmart. Okay, there's one there. And then you go all the way down. There's one on that end. And it's a nine cube organizer from Walmart. Commands stick to it very, very well. And then those boards are, they were 12 foot tongue and groove boards that my nephew graciously gave to me. We cut them down. Um, I, I, seven foot, I believe is what my table is. Seven foot long. Okay. This is what it looks like. It holds my oversized board and my large 32 inch, which is a yard, uh, cutting mat right there. Fisker's cutting mat. So we took two boards per spot. Okay. And I left some open. Now I will tell you, you have to put on these cube units, you have to put some of the backs on. I got three on this one and it holds it sturdy because if you don't, it will wobble back and forth. It will wobble, it will wobble. So anyway, you have to have those on there. This holds my basting spray and this is other sewing supplies that, you know, snippers and things like that that I just accumulated. And then this holds, I cut my boxes open with that and some of my hot glue stuff and random god knows what in there and then this has all my comic book boards and then that's my dollar tree stuff that right there is extra embroidery thread and then there's my papers from the other side sticking out now the top has i have seven boards across there which makes my top and all i done was set them on the top of the organizers and i do believe i screwed it down and that made the organizers a little more stable. But even with the tops, you know, it's going to wobble if you don't put your little cardboard things on. Just saying. So there is how I made my cutting and now craft table. Up here on a shelf I have in my craft room. And if you can put shelves up, that is very, very um, handy. And, you know, it holds a lot of storage I could put another one under this one to store some other stuff if I wanted to, but I have a light under there and I use that when I'm in here on my computer, okay? And I have to have this computer um, for my silhouette, so it's right here and it's, it's this is my office spot, okay? Now I'm going to mention this surge protector. I buy expensive surge protectors because I buy them with a lot of, I think it's called jewels on it. I want this protected. So I use very good surge protectors. My Cameo, my printers, and all that are plugged into that as well. Our power surges and goes out a lot. So there's, there's that. This desk I've had forever. It's a mission style desk. And under it, I have a um, set of risers that I get high on. Uh, oh my God, that did not come out right. I do not do that, y'all. I promise. I promise. I promise. I get up. I, I have to, it's a, a riser so I can get stuff up high is what I mean. Good Lord, I'm going nuts. There's my Bible that just fell over a minute ago. I keep it in a case. That's an extra thing to go over the lighting. Whew, I'm nervous as a cat on a tin roof right now after what I said. That is a dehumidifier and I have to plug it in and use it in this room quite often to suck the moisture out. That's why I have no floor right now. Um... Over here is paper. I have another plastic organizer. I'm telling you, I love these things. They're inexpensive and they're handy. So I have paper here. I have paper in there. Extra pencils and pen refill cartridges. I have index cards and stuff like that in there. And then down there in that one, 
I don't have to get in it very often. So I put my printer inks and things like that and extra inks and stuff for the printer down there. Jump, um, not jump drives, but CDs and things like that. Um, in my drawer, this is a long drawer. It folds down for your, for your, uh, computer, but I don't use it for that. I have all, I'm trying to pull this out with one hand without knocking it and making a bunch of noise. These are all bins from Dollar Tree at one point and another. That was the first one I ever got from the Dollar Tree a hundred years ago. And it holds, well, you see what it holds, but this is my mic and stuff. It was over in a different part that I had to move. Um, but anyway, I just put it here to keep it safe. And then my thumb drive for for my computer and then all my markers highlighters stuff like that and then and these were the new ones I just bought and they hold my all my post-it notes and personal items and staples and things like that up here I have another set of acrylic organizers there's two of them I butted them up together and put glue dots in there and it holds my pen fetish and my one little pair of scissors up there this drawer right here has my passwords and stuff like that in there and a lot of junk, you know, papers just throw it in there. This came from uh, Amazon and it holds my HP inkjet printer. And then I just got this Brother laser printer. It only prints black, but I was wondering where I was going to put it and it fit right in that little cubby which is great and it's an awesome printer by the way and then under here i took a piece of cardboard and a little handle from hobby lobby and made me a paper storage it just slides out it's just cardboard i just wanted to utilize that space under there and that fit perfect and then i have my stapler and all my little stuff from the dollar tree and i think i got that from hobby lobby i'm not sure and then on this side i have the little command center that i made and a, a rose that i drew when i was a teenager up there I don't know what to do with it yet and then these things are on this wall now and I made these when I first got my embroidery machine somebody asked me what is that on your wall in a, in a video I did but yeah I made these with my embroidery machine to go in my craft room when I first got it so that's what that is I'll just show you on this side also I have a shelf above my windows now you can use this for storage I use it for knickknack things and things my friends gave me and things that I made vintage sewing stuff and things like that but this um, I have one on this window and I have one over this window and this is just memories because that's what I painted in high school that's a doll I first made one of the first ones that's the first teddy bear I made that looks like a monkey and then there's pin cushions and dolls that my a very dear friend of mine gave me and vintage sewing stuff so that's what I keep over on that shelf. But you could use it for storage. And them big lights are coming down. I used to use those for heat in this room, believe it or not. And it worked out great. But I don't need that anymore. So it's got to come down. And since we're going over this sewing part, this is not all sewing. But it is one of the carts or um, tool things from Harbor Freight. And it does have a pegboard behind it. You have to assemble this. It's not hard. And it has a shell, a drawer over here. And it had a drawer over here, but I took it off because I put, you know, one of those totes under there. But it has two drawers. Okay. This drawer was long enough to actually fit my embroidery hoops, but I took it off. Well, this one would have too. But I have my embroidery sewing machine over here. I have a mat for if I have to measure anything on a hoop, my laptop that runs my embroidery software. Most of my thread is here. Some of it is in this drawer. My, um, sorry about that y'all. All my cones and some different colors and extra threads are in that drawer. And then up on top, I have my embroidery hoops. I have my presser or my, my, not my presser foot, my sewing foot right there. And then this goes on my machine to make it sew. This is my embroidery needles, my colored embroidery, and then my white embroidery. These are bobbins. And then I have the thread rack back here so I don't have to change threads out on here so often. Um, 
because it is just a single needle, single thread, thread machine. And then on the top, I also have, this is my heat tape, and then this is my silhouette cameo cutting stuff. But it's not sewing related, but it is on this cabinet. And this cabinet also has a light up in there too. And it's magnetic, so you can hang things on it if you don't have, you know, if you need more space. Anytime you have something metal, magnets are a blessing. So that is my little sewing area, friends. And this is the end of the first part of my craft room, which is the sewing part. Um, until next time, remember, you are a blessing. And if you haven't subscribed and you're just watching, could you please do so? Because all of the subscriptions, likes, comments, and all that helps my YouTube channel to grow and helps YouTube notice me and put me out a little more, which helps my channel to grow. And I would appreciate that. But until next time, you are a blessing. Goodbye.